I'm Robert Scoble, and we uh, go around the world looking for cool technologies, particularly technologies that are using uh, sensors. And Sensory uh, has an embedded voice re recognition system that I wanted to hear more about, so that's what we're going to talk about right now. And who are you? I'm Todd Moser. I'm the founder and CEO of Sensory. I started Sensory 20 years ago. And back then I was a serial entrepreneur and um, a young man. And today I'm neither of those. I'm, uh, today I'm a father of four, a marathon runner and a musician, and still the CEO of Sensory. Very cool. I ran four marathons in high school, but that was a long time ago. <laughs> um, what is Sensory? Because you have a bunch of toys that you brought me. And toys and mobile phones. Um, we're, we're a speech recognition company, speech technology company. When I started the company, the, the vision we had was actually to make it easier to interact with consumer electronic products through sensory kinds of functions, so hearing and seeing. As it actually turned out, we started with speech recognition and it was so challenging that we focused on that for about 19 years. Um, now it's our 20th year and we're actually moving into vision and combining vision and hearing uh, to create more of a sensory experience to make it easier to interact with consumer electronics. Yeah, and I, that's why I wanted to meet with you because at uh, South by Southwest next year I'm interviewing uh, Gary Shapiro, who uh, runs the Consumer Electronics Show, and so I'm always looking for interesting things to talk to him about on stage. Great. Um, can you uh, give me a sense of what what makes you different from the, uh, the other speech recognition companies like Nuance that's inside, uh, I think, the iPhone and, and Siri, which uses Nuance, and, yep. and uh, Google has voice recognition too. What makes you different? Yeah, so most of the other approaches out there are in the clouds. Um, you get more MIPS, more memory in the clouds, and we're really focused on the client. So in fact, in many ways, we work closely with the nuances and the Googles of the world because our customers use us on the client and them in the clouds. Mm -hmm. And so uh, w what did you bring me here today? And I brought an assortment of different things. Um, I can demonstrate some or just show you a few. Here's a, here's a headset by a company called Blue Ant. It was the V1. And it was really the first consumer electronic device that had a completely voice user interface. I mean, if you think about Bluetooth devices, they don't really have a, a, a screen or a keyboard, and the best way to communicate with them is to talk to them and have them talk back, and that's what this does. Right. And what's the uh, toy there? Um, it's a product made by Hallmark. They actually have a line of toys, and the idea there is that it can be on and listening, and as you read a story to your child, the, the, the doll can interact. Do you, do you want a quick demo? Sure. Let me turn it on. I'm ready for you to read me my story. So Nugget comes with a little book, and there's a whole lot of products in the line of, uh, of these interactive storybooks and story buddies. And the idea is that um, Nugget has a whole lot of vocabulary words installed, so you can actually buy multiple books that work with the same Nugget doll. Yeah. And in the books, there's text, um, and part of the text is highlighted in red, and when you read that, it interacts. So they were getting in the car, and there was nothing better than a ride in the car. So as you read through, you see different things highlighted in red. And when I say, uh, Nugget loved his family more than anyone could imagine. Make, make me feel all warm and fuzzy. Nugget so, yeah. interacts. Very cool. So uh, you Bye. use, goodbye. <laughs> Bye, Nugget. You uh, use uh, a limited vocabulary, and it looks like you're looking for phrases, uh, which makes your accuracy go way, way up, even if uh, a kid doesn't pronounce it very well, right? That's exactly right. Uh, real high accuracy is really important to the business that we do. And what we try to do is do limited vocabularies that are very high accuracy. And this is similar to how the Google Glass works, at least at the top level. If you say, OK, Glass, uh, take a picture, uh, it doesn't work. If you say take a photo, it does work, right? Because it's looking for the entire phrase and that makes it very, very accurate, even if you have an Australian or a German accent. Right? That's right. Yeah, glass, I, I have, I'm a glass user as well. I noticed you're not wearing yours I today. I forgot mine today. I thought I we was could both put ours on together. Was, um, no, I'm, I'm a big fan of the voice recognition in glass. Yeah. And so what, where is your company, because you, you've been around for 20 years, so you're not a, you know, a startup that started a month ago and no. got into Y Combinator or something like that. Where's your business going and, and what's the market for, for these newer embedded voice technologies? So um, we've just recently gone from being just a chip company to doing chips and software. We got into software about four years ago. 
So a product like Nugget uses our chips, a product like the Blue Ant V1 uses our software. Within the last two years, we've gotten into the mobile phone space and we've already signed up um, many of the top mobile phone players. Samsung's one of our customers, LG and the G new G2, Samsung in pretty much their most of their product line uses us. Pantech uses us. Motorola uses us in their products. Now, so, Samsung uses you and Google together, or just you? Where did, where did they use you, and, and where would I uh, be using the Google Voice Recognition System? Yeah, in, so in like um, an Android phone Google's in the cloud. I think um, what, what Samsung has in particular is called S Voice, and um, I've read online that that comes from Nuance. So in that particular case, we work with Nuance to make it happen. We do the embedded, they do the cloud. Got it. Very cool. Um, what's the potential for this? Because I, I, you know, Google Glass really trained me to use voice for the first time with a, with a computing system. Even Siri um, just didn't get there because I had a keyboard to fall back on. Google Glass forced me to use voice. So. And you like it? Yeah, I do. Uh, yeah. All right. And it's Glass. getting better. It's going to get better over time. What, what do you think the market is going to be? And as the compute and the sensors get cheaper, you can do more and more things with voice. So That's exactly right. In fact, um, with voice and vision, too, because the cameras are getting cheaper and cheaper. And the more sensory functions you put into devices, the better they are at interpreting what you want and, and how you're interacting with it. It makes yeah. it just easier to use the products. The opportunity is huge. We've been growing at about 50% a year for the last four years. We're very profitable. Um, this business is really quite good. When people need low power voice recognition on device, we're what they turn to. You know, the, the wearables community, I, I think, is going to be a home run. You know, to the extent that that market takes off, we're going to be there supplying the, the speech So let's say I'm building something like, like a Misfit Shine or a, a watch or something, and I want to put voice into it. How do, I, how do you get paid? Uh, do I buy a license? What, tell, me, uh, tell me how I would put your technology into my little uh, doodad. Any way you'll pay me, I'll take it. <laughs> so, um, we, we, we have a lot of different business models. I mean, one of the advantages of being a, a relatively small company, we're 43 people today. Um, is that we're somewhat flexible in business models. We like to make money. We tend to work with uh, the larger players and not a lot of startups mm -hmm. uh, because of that. We do per unit royalties. We will, we're open to a whole lot of different things. But, but you're seeing this Kickstarter revolution with hardware, that there's a, a whole new uh, range of hardware that's coming through the Kickstarter world that wasn't, wasn't going to get funded three years ago. Right? That's right. And so that gives you a new uh, business opportunity because there's a lot of kids over in UK who are building uh, Internet of Things devices and they need voice recognition because if you walk by your Nest thermostat, there's no keyboard there, right? And why not talk to it? Yep, that's, that's exactly right. In fact, we're at no loss of opportunities. We have more things than we can actually fulfill at this point in time. It's very hard to find top-notch speech recognition engineers, especially in Silicon Valley. You've got the, the Googles, the Apples, the Nuances, Microsoft all have major speech teams here. And the, the, the people that are good at voice processing and text processing and machine learning and understanding, they're also good at search kind of functions for the internet. So these, these uh, engineers are very hotly sought after. Yeah, yeah. Um, you're, 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 you've been around, so I don't need to know about your funding, or maybe do I? How, how were you funded? Nothing recently. Yeah. Um, so many years ago, we were VC-backed. Um, okay. Norwest has been sort of a, a lead uh, investor in many of our rounds. Yeah. Um, but our last round came in 2001, yeah. and we've been profitable since. Very cool. What other trends are you seeing happen in the world that you, you play in? Because I imagine that you're really excited by this wearable space that's just about to get more Wearables hot. is very exciting. I mean, I'd say that, I mean, a lot of things has happened. You know, Siri really did kick off a revolution in speech. Once, once Apple kind of gave the gold seal to it, everybody wanted speech recognition. And what we're, we've seen happen, there used to be a kind of a debate about between client and cloud, and back then they called it client and server. But it's very clear today that what's emerged is sort of a hybrid model where you have something going on in the client and you have more complex things going on in the cloud. Yeah, no, it, it makes sense. I'm seeing uh, motorcycle helmets with, uh, with uh, displays and no keyboard again. You want to talk to those. Or Oakley has ski goggles, and you want to talk to those. You, you don't want to, want to hit. You don't want to hit buttons, that, especially little. But you don't want to take your eyes off of the road while you're driving or skiing. Yeah. Where do, we, where do people learn more about you guys? Um, our website is www.sensoryinc.com. That's S-C-N-S-O-R-Y-I-N-C, -S so no dots or dashes. Very cool. Well, thank you so much thank for you, coming Robert. out. Thank you, Robert. Yeah, it's my pleasure. Showing me what you're doing. All right. Cheers.